Hey guys, welcome to the newly revived Super Mario 64 Machinima Tips. This is episode 5 and we're going to discuss texture hacking with Rice Plugin. Now you may have noticed throughout my videos that the Mario characters have a wide variety of emotions in their facial features, mostly changes with the eye textures. While most of this was achieved by editing the ROM with Toad's tool, in my strong opinion, there is a faster and more sufficient way to execute this. The way I change textures in Mario 64 is through Rice Plugin. It's a plugin installed to Project 64 that allows you to use different texture packs in the game. If you'd like to learn more about Rice Plugin, look it up on YouTube or Google. For now, I'm just going to show you how to edit and change the textures. So, assuming you've already installed the Rice Plugin, you're going to want to open up Super Mario 64 in Project 64. Once you've done that, go into your graphics options, select texture enhancement, and check dump textures. Rice plugin will begin to dump every texture you come across in the game and dump into a folder. So be sure to run around in game to dump as many textures as possible. Once you've done that, Rice plugin should have created a folder with the name of the game you dumped filled with all the textures it came across. Our main focus is the PNG All folder, which is the textures you'll want to edit and replace. So when you find the texture you want to edit and replace, select it and open it up in Photoshop, Paint, or whatever photo editing tool you use. Edit the texture however you please, then save it under the same name. Make sure you save it as a PNG, otherwise you'll have issues with the image. Now, when you want to load the textures you've replaced, take the Super Mario 64 folder from Texture Dump and move it to the High Res Texture folder. Then, go into Project 64 and run Super Mario 64 then in your graphics options, check Load High Res Textures. The textures you've edited should change, and that is how you use Rice Plugin to load edited textures. If you found this tutorial helpful and would like to see more, just like, comment, and subscribe. When you subscribe, you'll get more tutorials and more content from me. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and there will definitely be more to come. Thanks, everyone.